I use the four gang boxes here with the mounting tabs. These make it a lot easier. All you do is just drop it in the holes and tighten the screw. The mounting tab will automatically come out on its own and then move down and tighten the box. These are the relays we're using. They're eight channel solid state relays. The terminals across the top right here are your 110s. The connectors right here go to your Arduino board. The two at the end right here are your ground and voltage. They're uh, labeled clearly on the board right here GDN for the ground and VCC for the voltage. We're going to mount our relay boards directly on the back of the boxes. You want to make sure that you're pretty well centered between all the holes right there. You don't want to be overlapping a hole. Set them where you want them, mark them, and then drill the four holes. These are eighth inch holes and you can see they're evenly spaced and clear from the uh, wire openings here. The back of these relay boards have uh, wires that stick out about an eighth of an inch or so where they're soldered on. You don't want these actually rubbing against the back of the box. Uh, you could end up having a bad connection. So we're going to lift them up just a little bit. I'm doing that with these old wall anchors I have. They're plastic. We're going to snip them off at about a quarter of an inch. You don't have to be perfect on this. Okay, now as we put the screws in the relay board right here, and these are number four screws, machine screws and nuts. Put the screw in, slip on your spacer, and because I cut it off with the wire cutters, it's slightly crimped, and that keeps it from falling off. Makes it easier to put together here. So we just slip all four of these together. All right, now let's attach this to the gang box. Drop your four machine screws in through the holes. Now holding the screws, just flip it up where you can get a nut started on the inside. Okay, and do this with all four of them. Okay, once you've got all four nuts attached underneath of here, we'll just tighten them up. You don't have to be real tight, so I'm just using my finger to hold the nut in place. All we're wanting to do is just snug them down good so that they're not going to fall apart. Now on your two gang boxes, on the side that has the 110, as I said earlier, this is the 110 connections. These are your Arduino connections. On the side with the 110s, we open up all four holes. You can do that by simply sticking a screwdriver in and prying them both directions and opening the hole up. Do that on both boxes. Then turn them around to the other side. On one box, do it on the right. On the other box, do it on the left. And you only open one hole. And now these are ready to have the sockets installed. This is the correct box. It has the single hole on the right side, same place as the white common wire and the ground wire right here. So we're going to put two black wires out the back side, the white and the ground out the front side, and then each set of two right here goes out through each next hole. There's the first one. Now each second one, or each one after that goes through two wires through per hole. All right, that's the way it goes together. Your four hot leads are on the side here with the 110 terminals. 
and your common and ground are on the opposite side. So let's do that with both boxes. Alright, both boxes now have been screwed together. This is something I should have mentioned a second ago right there. It's a be a little easier when you can see a little better down in there, but the wire that goes to the top socket. If you can look down in and see which one it is, it's a good idea to just bend that up just a little bit. If you do that with all of them, it'll make it simpler when you're wiring it together if you know which one of these wires is already which. So by doing that, now I know which ones are the top sockets, the straight wires are the bottom sockets. So do that with both of them. So we need to line up the screws with the holes. One by one here and tighten them down. Now you don't have to worry right now about centering these sockets on the screws. You can see there's a slot in the end of each socket so that it can be moved around. We will readjust them when we put the cover plates on. So do that with both boxes. Alright, our two boxes here are completely assembled now. We know which one's the upper wire and the lower. Our two grounds and two commons are both in the center now. So we know that when they go in the box, this is going to be the top. And you want the commons and grounds in the center. So they'll be in the box just like this. So the sockets, I number them in a straight line. It makes it simpler for me when I'm plugging in. So this is number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes to the bottom. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can write that right on the box right here and I know which one's which then. I'm writing it right below the black wires. Now we know that this one right here will be nine. It's on the opposite side. So that one is 9, then 10, 11, 12. Bottom one, first one here is 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, this is our gang box removable mounting board. Goes in the box. Down to the gang box holes right here is two inch, in from the ends, inch and a quarter. Okay, we're going to install the gang boxes. So the end right here that has the white common and the ground wire, we want those in the middle. The black wires are on top. So it goes in just like this on this side. You want to make sure that all of your mounting tabs are down where they belong. The ones on the bottom have a tendency to fall out sometimes, so you want to hold those up as you slide the box into the hole. Now we tighten the box down. As you tighten these screws, the mounting tab will automatically move up into place and lock the box. Don't get carried away as you're tightening. This is all plastic. If you look on the back side, you can see that the tabs have swung out and locked down against the wood. So we'll do that with both boxes. All right, both of them are mounted. We have all our black wires on top, our whites and grounds in the center at the bottom. Now we're gonna turn the box over 
and we're going to mount the Arduino board.